If you want to see the transformation of these nails right here, keep watching. Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Shalina and I'm back with a new video. Today I have something completely different for you guys. It's all about my nails. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been posting my nails for years. I think I started in 2014 with posting my nails and obviously we're in 2020 now. My nails have evolved, yeah? And I get so, so many questions about how I get them done, what shape I go for, what colors my nail artists use and whatsoever. So I was thinking, why not make a vlog about this? It's time for an infill. I've had these bad boys right here. These were my Valentine's nails for three and a half weeks. I actually maintain my nails very well and my nails barely ever break. I know this is like the most asked question. Do your nails ever break? Not really, because I take good care of them and I'm very used to having long nails. But let me not talk so much. Let me get myself to my nail artist so we can get this video started. So guys, let's get into this. As I said, these nails are over three weeks old. And as you can see, I need a fresh set ASAP. The funny thing is that I never know what color to go for. It's always super spontaneous. Today, I feel like going for this bright orange right here. It's so gray outside. I need some color. So we're gonna start with cutting these nails. And that is because we're not gonna have an infill. We're gonna have a fresh new set. As you can see, the nails underneath, they grow. That's amazing. The problem is just that our natural nails don't grow straight they curve the longer they get and you do not want your nails to look like this so always make sure every two to three months to soak off your set and start brand new that will make your nails look much prettier we're using the drill to take off some of the acrylic not everything just a little to minimize the soak off time but now it's time to put the nails into the acetone and we're leaving the nails in there for about five minutes after five minutes the acrylic is just gooey that's how we want it because now we can easily scrape it off and that's actually my favorite part because it is so satisfying to watch we repeat in these steps one to two times and finally, the acrylic is coming completely off. The nails are looking like a hot mess, but don't worry guys, we're gonna get this sorted now. As we're about to glue on the tips, we not only have to trim our natural nails, we also have to make sure to file them as this is just making the application much easier. Onto the cuticles, another favorite part of mine. This is what's gonna make your nails look super, super neat. We're only pushing them back gently with this drill, but we still wanna have them look clean and neat. As you can see, the acrylic still left a little bit of a residue that we're removing now with the drill so that everything is even, flat, and we're able to glue the tips on. Don't forget to prep and dehydrate. And this is actually the product that we were using. And this step is also super important as we're about to get rid of the tough cuticles and hang nails. This process is much easier when the skin around the nails is just wet. Now onto the fun part, we're gluing the tips on. I don't know why it's not in the shot, but we're actually using a tiny little bit of glue. Not that much because we're still applying some acrylic and that's what's actually gonna hold the nails in place. That's one hand done, onto the other hand. Voila, all glued on but they're a bit too long. So let me trim them down by just a little tiny bit because I still wanna have long nails and when they're transparent, they do seem a bit longer than they really are. For the other hand, we're just gonna compare every finger by finger to make sure that both hands are gonna have the same length. And done. Now onto the shape. As you can see here on the side is a list. I'm always going for coffinates. I've been wearing coffinates for ages. This is just the shape that works the best with my fingers. I might change it one day. As for now, I am going to stay with the coffin shape. We also have to file the nails a little just to make sure that we have the right base before we apply the acrylic. 
I'm already obsessed with the shape. Once again, we have to prep and dehydrate. We're using the same product that I showed you earlier on as we're about to apply some nail primer. And nail primer is also super, super important. It's so important because it affects the longevity of not only acrylic nails, but also if you have gel nails and it also removes grease. So never skip on nail primer. We're now applying the acrylic mixture, which contains powder and liquid. It's not really in the shot right now, but that's what she applies bit by bit so that it's even and flat and not bumpy. There are so many different shades when it comes to the acrylic powder. I normally just go for a neutral shade and then we apply gel polish on top. That's what I'm going to do as well today, but only that I do not want to have a full orange set. So we're going to use this nude pinkish acrylic powder today as a base. And then I'm going to add some orange highlights to them, similar to the set I had before. Almost done and you could actually just apply a top coat and call it a day. I think they're super cute and natural like that. But I'm a perfectionist so we're not gonna stop right here. I want to have the perfect long coffin shape and the file is gonna help us achieve this look. We're just gonna file left, right and center. I like them extra sharp. <music> And there you go. On the right, we almost have the perfect shape. On the left, not so much. Let me know in the comments if you can see it too or if I'm crazy. I don't think I'm crazy because I can clearly see the difference. But anyway, for the left hand, we're going to do the same exact thing, perfecting the shape. We're done with the file, but if you look closely, you can still see there are a few bumps. And that's because of the acrylic powder. We need the drill for that. The drill is going to make everything even and ready for the top coat I want to apply and the pop of color that these nails still need. And last but not least, the buffer. A lot of people hate the buffer. I actually like the buffer. That is just the last finish touch that you need just to have everything as even as possible. And look at that. Now we're more than ready to add a pop of color. At this stage, I would normally apply gel polish, but like I said earlier on, today we're going for a neutral set with a little bit of orange as a highlight, and that's about it. So we're applying the top coat first, and that makes it much easier for us because we want to hand paint on these nails, and if anything goes wrong, we can easily wipe it away. As you can see, we have an LED lamp right here. So what we're gonna do now is put these nails in there for 30 to 45 seconds. I'm not too sure when the lights are turning off. Now on to the other hand. The amazing thing about this top coat is that it's no wipe, so it's not sticky. So we can directly start with the hand painted design. It's very simple. It's the outline design, which I'm gonna have in neon orange. So it's basically a very thin border, but it's the right pop of color that you need at this time of the year because it's still winter, but we approach in spring. So the color that we're using right now is actually gel polish. We went with electric orange by Kenny. So we also have to secure this under the LED lamp. Mm -hmm. 
Now that the painting is secure, we also need to add a layer of top coat. It is the same one that we used earlier on before we added the painting. It's the no wipe one. I love that one because when you take your nails out of the lamp, you can just touch your hair or your sweater and there won't be any unnecessary fluff sticking to your nails. I told you guys earlier that I like my nails sharp. So that's what we're gonna do before we get to the very last bit, sharpen the edges. As the very last thing, we also need some cuticle oil because we need to keep these cuticles moisturized. We don't want them white and dry. And we wanna have this glossy and shiny finish. And here is the finished result. They look super neat. I am obsessed. The transformation is real, guys. All right, guys, I'm back in the car and your girl has got some fresh nails. I am literally obsessed. I mean, it's still February and it's cold, but I needed, a, you know, like a sprinkle of spring. It took us roughly three hours, but that was only because we were soaking the nails off. And on top of this, I was also doing my toes in bright orange, which I didn't vlog because it's my nail routine and not my toe routine. Yeah, but that's the wrap now. I hope you had fun watching. As always, if you have any video ideas, even if they're so random as a nail routine, make sure to let me know in the comments right now. If you like today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. And then as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.